Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep Cadena trending and hop into some quick Cadena news. And I think by this time you guys know we will start off with Cadena and if you haven't yet, make sure to follow Cadena on Twitter and activate the bell notifications because you can see more and more tweets coming from Cadena, not only from the main account, but also from their founder and team accounts. So as said, follow them and just scroll through, you will see a lot of great news. But before we scroll through that, I have picked myself a few things I want to show you. So the first thing is the Cadena campfire that was uh, two days ago with Stuart and Will, both founders of Cadena, which was very, very exciting. And there was um, a little alpha and some more. So I reckon everyone to have a listen to that. And of course, subscribe here too, because there's going to be the next campfire in a few days with Glenn so this is also gonna be very very exciting but for you guys who uh, didn't listen to the campfire two days ago Stuart Poch Pope Joy himself tweeted out to say that I am really excited for the future of Cadena would be an understatement we are determined to empower every human across the internet from the blockchain to your device so we are taking Pact to web Two. Ima imagine combining the best of both worlds, the user experience of Web2 and the security of Web3. It's a powerful combination that can redefine how we interact with digital platforms and applications. We want to bring the advantages of the crypto space and PACT, secure by default, passwordless logins, ZK privacy to Web2 developers for an exceptional user experience. And I love the tweet, the same as I'm seeing from Flux. Let's combine Web2 and Web3 and take best of both and create create something amazing and also a little alpha Cadena's layer 2 solution so crypto projects benefit from l2 efficiency and zk powered privacy to scale and speed up transactions a Cadena powered scalable multi-chain l2 on pact changes the game entirely with the simplicity and security of pact developers can tap into the power of l2 solutions and zk rollups while ensuring the user's assets and data are protected now if you want to have more alpha about the layer twos make sure to check out this campfire now if you want me to um i'll do a little more research and maybe i can do some videos on those l2s and stuff but because this is a uh, pretty alpha and um we don't have too much info on that yet i can't turn a little too much about it so make sure to check out the campfire and make sure to follow Stuart up here because he'll definitely tweet out some alpha when the time has come and also, if you want to learn more about Pact, there was a great article from Swap Zone. So check it out. I'll put you the link in the description. You can have a read and learn more about Pact. Doesn't matter if you are deaf or not. Let's see what Pact can bring and let's see how Pact can change the world. Now, continuing with Utterly Ridiculous, which is a project from, uh, from Ron Wolf, Maui Miners. Sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, but I think I've shown it to you Um before and utterly ridiculous is a or an nft project for everyone that got rugged in general or on cadena and um, there's gonna be a moo token and so on but what really caught my eye is that they also had a song and i don't know if i showed it to you so let's hear a little bit of how that song sounds <laughs> So if you liked it, make sure to join the Discord and have a listen to the whole song and get ready for the utterly ridiculous 3D Chaos because I think this is also a really fun project. I've got rugged on Cadena, I think some of you guys too. So make sure to follow them and let me know what you think about their song. Continuing with Cranks and I think everyone now knows that the Crank beta is closed. But what I wanted to show you is first that they will be giving away one crank license for a week, for eight weeks straight until their public onboarding. So if you are not in the beta or just want to expand your um, your crank gateways, this is a chance to win a free license. And also if you're over onto the crank website, you can now join crank. And this is the subscription to the crank public onboarding. So doesn't matter if you already have minus or not, if you are planning on joining crank, all you have to do is click on crank on just select um, one of those i think there won't be a problem if you choose another gateway later on but if you want just choose other or the sense m1 or whatever 
and already get yourself a personal code so you are set and ready to crank on. But again, uh, shout out to Crank, this is amazing. We've got uh, so much going on up here. Make sure to follow them and um, I'm looking forward to see what the future of Cranks brings us. Now continuing with Timpy and there was an exciting tweet. So calling round one KDA participants to fill out this whitelist application if you haven't already. So for everyone who is already an existing supporter from round one, so already took part in their IDO or ICO, I don't know, is now able to pre-public ICO rounds. So if you took part earlier on, so this is your chance to get an even cheaper price. I didn't take part in round one, so I won't be able to take part in this. But if you have, now you know it and let me know if you did. And continuing with the wizards, this was really fast and I am so happy we got the dark mode because I was blind. I don't know about you, but I cannot live with a pure white background or pure white screen in general. So I'm so happy um, Ilario implemented the dark mode so fast. Now, I really think the website is much cleaner now. Doesn't matter on what tab you hop on. You can read everything pretty great. And also don't forget to take part in PvP. The PvP week is over. You have, I think, three days until the next PvP week starts. Also, if you hop over on to um, tournaments, so there is a few updates for the Flash tournaments, but you'll have to play the tournaments to check out those updates. But if you hop on to weekly updates, we can see that the Apprentice tournament also, uh, I think, was yesterday and I think Ron also won, so shout out to you. Make sure to take part in the 12th league tournament. There's going to be awesome prizes and you still have some time to subscribe to this tournament. Now, also, the first wizard halving is going to be in 25 days. So that is great. And I'm also looking forward to that. Uh, continuing with the miners of Cadenia and they have their crew three or um, Zeli tasks up here. Just wanted to let you know if you guys didn't do this yet, you may be able to win some prizes and whatnot. And it's pretty easy and there also may be other projects. So all the links are in the description. If you need to do something in the Cadena Echo, there's always something to do. And now before we continue with some further news, a quick shout out again to the Cadena ecosystem. If you want to know anything about any of those projects or find new projects, hop over to CadenaEcosystem.com. Scroll through and find your best or your favorite project. Also make sure to check out all the different tabs because there is a lot to do up here. And if you're looking for a KDA Explorer, we have a kdaexplorer.com. And if you want, put in your wallet address, address, it all looks absolutely beautiful. Down here you can, for example, see all of my coins. And if I scroll down, you can see all of my NFTs, which is also beautiful. And yeah, I can basically see all of my NFTs and all of my coins and whatnot and transactions on one place and actually have a nice overview. So well done, Eucalyptus Labs team. I love it. And if we are already talking about Koala and Eucalyptus and whatnot, the Koala Wallet browser extension is coming and I love that. Looking forward to that. And there's also a meme contest for the Koala Wallet. So you've got a few more days. I'll put you the link in the description. Go check it out. And if you haven't downloaded the Koala Wallet yet, feel free to download the Koala Wallet. It's going to be your passport to the ecosystem. We already have Wallet Connect for Android and iOS. As I said, the browser extension is coming. What more do you want? So check it out. And don't forget to leave a five-star review. Now, also, if you want to get yourself some Koala swag or some Cadena swag, hop over to swag.koalawallet.io. And also, when checking out, feel free to use the code NOAH30. You'll get a 30% discount. And um, yeah, the 30% will help this channel. Now, continuing with the KDA Mining Club. And shit, I forgot to take out the... KMC goes global piece of paper from the miner we had from round one. I wanted to show it to you guys, but I've put it somewhere in my room so I can't find it. But KMC goes global times two. Now everyone who's got a Wagmi or we all gonna make it shirt is um yeah is able to participate. If you don't have one, you can get it on the website. If you were a founders pass holder and you um were on time, you may have gotten yourself a shirt for free. But with that being said, everyone who's got a shirt, please make sure to take part with that. I love that I also took part in the first one. Don't have a shirt yet, so 
I don't know if I'll be able to participate, but this is also great. We can um, we can see that there are some great prizes, but yeah, not looking too much about the prizes. I love um, shit like this when we go global and um, get the word out. So everyone make sure to participate if you got yourself a shirt. And core blockchains payouts were successful. Everyone got their first payout. If you want more details, check out the Discord, but everyone should have gotten their payout on chain zero. Now there's still, I think, seven, eight, nine legendary. So if anyone wants to gamble for some hash rate, feel free to do that. But as I said, everyone should have gotten their payouts now. So I'm also good with that even with my common NFT. Cadena Hashing is now a private club. Now I think everyone knew this from the beginning. You had your time to mint yourself an NFT. Now it is closed and now everyone's eagerly waiting for part two. But as yeah, I just said, this is now a private club. We are gonna hash away and everyone with an um, Cadena Hashing NFT will get a percentage from the future. So. Uh, things are looking good down here looking forward to part two now if anyone has a kh nft but isn't uh, verified in the discord for a uh, for being a holder please make sure to do that because there's gonna be different channels you want to have access to but again congratulations to everyone who minted congratulations to cadena hashing team for finishing part one excited to see where this goes now continuing with full spend mining and i nearly sent full spend yard club and there is some great news so you can now burn 30 otter pups to get a main collection otter nft and i believe to have seen that one costs ten dollars would make sense because the price is 300 to mint a main collection um, otter but more of those news will come out i'm not exactly 100 percent sure i understand that because in the discord i can also see they have their smart contracts for their stake to auto uh, stake to mint or auto reinvestment features and i know that as said 30 auto pubs can give you one main collection auto pub but i am not sure if the kda you mine become an auto pub which you can hold and then after you get 30 you can um yeah swap it to a main collection or if this is a little bit different but we know that there is going to be stake to mint and auto reinvestment features and also auto pubs so that sounds great they also had a space yesterday or the day before which i will link you in the description which was also about their miners um, who arrived and they are at the facility not on yet probably on monday but they are at the facility and they are also gonna go to their partners in dubai which is awesome to pick up more ka3s in person so i hope you all have a great flight and probably um you should meet up with the cat cast team um yeah would love to see that and see an interview or whatnot in person would be great all the links are in the description and now we're gonna continue with the arcade not much to be said here and just that they had a space with the Cadena ecosystem, which I will link you in the description. You can get all the latest news up there. Um, but just again for a reminder, on the May the 19th, there is going to be the airdrop, the weapons airdrop for the Brawler Bears, also the Brawler Bears game. And maybe some of you didn't know, one day after, you'll be able to buy those mystery boxes and get those weapons the price is going to be 2 kda so i think there's going to be a lot of those bought i'm looking forward to see those weapons if you want to see some sneak peeks make sure to join the discord and the boxing badges also had a nice announcement so they are happy to announce their new art direction for the game we think 100 percent likeness to the nft is important and will translate uh, much better into 2d now i also think that um, 3d is a lot of work and i think if it fits more to the NFT, to the 2D art, um, yeah, would also do great. And I think for the game, it, it, would, it also looks great. So looking forward to this. If you guys want to mint yourself a boxing badger, you can do this now on the eSoco marketplace. And then let me know what badges you got. Continuing with dead bot, uh, with the dead bots and the mini game is coming along. So this is what I read on Twitter. Also in the Discord, Lusotica is still building it. Um, I think he's putting a few hours every day or every week into this game. But as I said, still building it and it is coming out. Yeah. If you want to read through the docs, I'll put you the link in the description. But I'm still happy that I am holder of number zero and number one. So I'm looking forward to this. I think price is 10 KDA if you want to mint yourself one. But of course, 
not financial advice, just telling you what's happening in the Cadena ecosystem. Also, again, a shout out to the Kapepe community. It's been awesome. Now, I know there's been uh, some problems and a little rug and uh, so on at the beginning, but the memes are awesome. The community is awesome. Uh, what can I say? There's also going to be a little Kapepe campfire on Monday. Let's see if I can make it. And what I also wanted to ask is um, how does that work for the community? Because I've got my old tokens up here, but whenever I want to sign the transaction, nothing happens. So let me know uh, what I'm doing wrong and let's see if we can get that fixed. Uh, where were we? Uh -huh, here, Swarms Finance and Swarms Finance is amazing. If you haven't seen this, um, there was the first Swarms on-chain proposal and by who? By Cadena. So Swarms, uh, Swarms da -da 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 to accept the grant proposal provided by the Cadena grant team and the votes came in and it is official proposal number one has passed and Swarms Finance got a grant from Cadena, which is awesome. DAOs are awesome and what Swarms is building is awesome. You can check them out. You can check out the website. You can check out the Discord if you have any questions. But you can also listen to KD Talks where they talked about DAOs and uh, whatnot. We'll put you the link again in the description. I am so happy and I think everyone's, everyone's happy that Swarms got the... Um, Swamps got the grant from Cadena. So yeah, let's see where this goes. And as I said, I was just talking about this KD Talks episode three. Make sure to check it out. All the links are in the description. And I think we've already talked about Isoko, um, but what just went live is the Gen 1 collection of the Secret Garden of Cadena. If you know nothing about them, I'll put you the link up here. Just had a talk with them one or two days ago. And as said, the mint is now live. Already 5% have been minted. And down here, you can see my four Gen 1s. Um, hope to be able to mint some more because I'm an OG and it only costs me 13 KDA. It'll go up to, I think, 17 and 20 KDA for the uh, whitelist and public. But I really like that one with the butt, also the diamond one and so on. Let me know if you minted some of them and don't forget to tag me on Twitter with them because I want to see what you guys, uh, guys have minted. And as I said, there's a few more things minting here. Pitbull, Bushido and Boxing Badgers. If you want to check them out, feel free to do so. And I think this should be it. There's not, not too much news. I've got this tab from links open and yeah, with a little tweet of how they want to connect with you guys now i voted for live streams and hang hangouts but i like all i really like medium articles um if it's weekly i want to read and listen to them of course live streams too but um give me all of that and give me those chainless wallets so i think this should be it but it's not because today was an amazing flux ama live stream however you want to call it so if you really want to learn about proof of useful work and AI and all of that, I really recommend you to re-listen to this talk today. It was amazing. Um, can't really talk too much about it because I don't know, but I link it to you in the description. And last thing I want to point out is that the CatCast tournament is live and I had my freaking time 117.95, which is I think over a second faster than ron and christian and it disappeared from the leaderboard after i freaking closed the game and i hope they fix it because i'm number one i told you guys in the last quick cadena news that i'm gonna win this i also told will um that i'm gonna get the trophy for him so yeah looking forward to that looking forward to seeing an update in the leaderboard uh, i hope to see more champions taking part in the tournament there's some really great prizes, uh, but this should be it for today. Just wanted to let you know what's happening in the Cadena Echo. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.